Here we're going to be looking at a partnership allocation of profit deficiencies. And the method we're going to be using here is an alternative method, and it's going to be a profit allocation method uh, where the deficiency is allocated by the order of priority here for the partnership. Now this method here requires that the provisions of the profit and loss agreement be ranked by the order of priority. And what are we talking about here? The partnership is going to be paying interest, some bonuses, and some salaries here. And what we have to do is we have to rank these in order that they're going to get paid here. And our first ranking would be for the interest on the excess of capital here. And secondly, it would go to bonuses. Thirdly, go to salaries. So let's go down and look at what our um, problem is here. We have partner A, partner B, in partner C. And we have a partnership agreement here where the interest on the excess of capital here was planned or budgeted at $7,200 here and they had a bonus here of $44,000 that was allocated and then their normal salary allocation here was $50,000 the total amount here. So the normal allocation is based on based on the partnership agreement here is $61,200. But for the year here for the period the partnership only earned $44,000. So the allocated amount here of $61,200 is deficient here by $17,200. So what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to come up and we have to adjust the salaries for this priority ranking here. Since we can pay off the interest in full and the bonus in full here, but we can't pay the total amount here on our salaries. So let's go up and look at our example here. Again, our ranking here would be for the interest being paid first, bonus second, and then our salaries. So let's go look at how we calculate our interest on the excess of the capital balance here. And that interest is allocated based on the capital investment for each partner. Now the interest rate agreed on for the partnership was 6% on the ending capital balance in excess of $200,000. So the partner is only going to get paid for any excess they have in $200,000 for their cash and their assets invested. So let's go back and look at, or look at how we'd make our calculation here. The ending capital balance for partner A was 160,000, B 300,000, and for partner C 220,000 dollars. So calculating our interest on the ending balance, capital balance here for A, well they wouldn't have any since they didn't meet the rate here of 200,000 dollars. They only had 160,000, so they'd receive zero interest here. And then B, well they had 200, they had 300,000 dollars invested here and the difference here between 200,000 gives them $100,000 in excess here times 6% gives them $6,000 here in interest. And then C, uh, they had $220,000 invested which gives them $20,000 more than the $200,000 amount here times 6% gives them $1,200 or $1.2,000 here. So let's just go up and look at how they were, uh, how it was proportioned out here. Well, partner A got zero, partner B got 6,000, partner C got 1,200. Total amount here was $7,200. And then for our bonus here, that was only agreed on to pay partner C here. And for our bonus calculation, let's just go up and look at it here. They were to receive 10% here times the net income. And this bonus was uh, based on the fact that they would be having to pay it based on the net income after the bonus here. So looking at our formula here, our bonus 10% uh, rate times the net income for the period is $44,000 less the bonus here. So doing our arithmetic here, we just moved our bonus over to the other side of the equation. That was a 10% times our bonus gives us 10% bonus plus uh, the bonus here uh, on this side of the equation equals 100%, so you get 100% of the bonus here, and that would equal $4,400, or 10% times $44,000 here. So our bonus amount here was $4,400, and doing our arithmetic here, 100% plus 10%, and divide the 4400 by 110%, gives us a bonus here of $4,000. And that was allocated here to partner C, only partner C here got $4,000. So uh, we move that over here for a total amount, our bonuses of $4,000. Now comes in where we have to allocate our salaries here. So remember the total amount that we had to allocate was uh, the 
earnings for the uh, partnership for the year of $44,000. So we have to calculate this uh, salaries amount here. So we can allocate income up to $44,000 here. So we have the $44,000 amount here. We allocated uh, interest in excess of the capital here of $7,200. And then we also allocated a bonus here of $4,000. So subtracting those amounts here from $44,000 gives us the uh, income that we have to allocate here at $32,800. That's the income that uh, we have left here to allocate based on our ranking system here. So let's go up and look at how we'd allocate that here. So going over here to partner A, for example, here, let's go down here. Uh, we It's based on the ratio here that they had on the original partnership agreement or the partnership agreement they had. So let's go look at it. Uh, normal salaries here for partner A would have been 26000 for the year and again for partner C would have been 24000 So our total amount here of $50,000. So let's go up and look at how we'd allocate those salaries. We take partners A's $26,000 and divide it here by uh, partner or their, the total amount of sal normal salaries that would have been allocated at $50,000. And that gives us a ratio here. Partner A would have got that amount here, 26 divided by 50 times the uh, salaries that we have to allocate here of $32,800. So taking that ratio or that fraction here times $32,800 gives us $17,056 here that we can allocate to partner A based on that allocation ratio here. So that's what partner A would get, $17,056. And then partner B got no salaries. That, they didn't put a contract, they didn't get any salaries. So now partner C here, we got to look at how we calculate that. Well, we do that in the same fashion as we calculated partner A's here. So going down to the original contract here, um, the agreement was that partner C would get paid $24,000. Total amount, again, $50,000 for salaries for the year. So their fraction of the salaries that they'd be allocated here would be 24, 000, 24 divided by 50, or 24,000 divided by 50,000. And then that fraction, again, times $32,800, the total amount of salaries that we have to allocate for the period. And that gives us $15,744 that partner C would be allocated in this case for the salaries. So adding the 17056 plus 15744 gives us $32,800 worth of salaries that we allocated. And now let's look at the income allocation here. And that's based on this ranking system here for how we pay our partners here. So partner A total amount they would have gotten was for salaries alone here at $17,056. Now that would be income that they'd be allocated for the year here. And then partner B just got the interest on the excess of their capital balance of $6,000. And then partner C would get their total amount here for the interest, the bonus, plus the salaries here. And that would total up $20,944. So our income alloc allocated amount, 17056 plus the 6000 plus the 20944 gives us the total amount that we could allocate here for our um, for the income for the year of $44,000. So this is what we mean by using the ranking system here. We have to first rank in, in what order we're going to pay uh, our different categories here to our partners. And then wherever we came up with the uh, deficiency. So we had in this case, we could pay off the interest first. We had enough for that. We had enough for the bonus here. But our salaries, that is where we had to come up with our uh, ranking here and our our distribution amount here. And again, the salaries that was based on the uh, going back to our original or partnership agreement here that we agreed on for our salaries. So we just used the fraction here that we could, uh, that we had a normal amount here. In this case, a uh, normal amount was 26000 for A and total salaries of 50000 So that was the fraction they would receive times the amount of salaries that we could allocate for the period here. And that is our ranking system here using the uh, partnership allocation of uh, profit deficiencies.